tonight on Border Security. Immigration are on the hunt for a fugitive. Now, this lady down here, we think we've met her before and she's run away. Which sparks an angry showdown. Doesn't what work. the cops I, I don't want to call I know my rights. It's just a massive organic material. There is something not right about this package from Thailand. On the outside of what's supposed to be a car park. And a passenger returning from Iran is stopped at the border. Australia is free country. But not, I'm not sure. Pass a property. Immigration officers are meeting on the outskirts of Western Sydney to discuss the day's compliance operation. They hope to find a Chinese woman suspected of living and working in Australia illegally. Um, we have information that um, a person who we tried to locate on a previous occasion um, is now working at this farm. Um, Previously, we went to another farm um, to locate this person, and the person seen immigration officers entering the property and absconded out the back. Compliance officers will seek access to the surrounding properties to ensure that all escape routes are covered. Uh, we just called up at a premise, so Daniel's just trying to um, let us have access now. Copy that. Uh, as far as we know at the moment, there are just a couple of people on the farm. Um, they, they're status may be um, OK. So we're going to try and make contact with the owners, uh, have a check with those people, see what their status is, and take it from there. Officers need to move quickly to cover such a large property. Um, we've been given permission to stay on the property. Copy that. Can you um, see how many people are on the property? Still only view that lady in the field at the moment. Copy that. However, their element of surprise is suddenly compromised. <laughs> Customs officers at Sydney Airport's International Mail Handling Unit always take a close look at packages from known source countries for drugs. And today, Officer Kane has just x-rayed a bulky parcel from Thailand. Oh, here we go. As you can see, the thicker areas here, as opposed to just the, the central areas where it's not as thick. There's just a massive organic material on the outside of what's supposed to be a car park. The package might not contain any prohibited substance, but as some organic matter is indicated on the X-ray, Kane decides to have a closer look. I've just had the uh, tape cut by Australia Post. I can uh, now start to get into it. I don't want to damage it too much. Officers must take care opening packages. If the Australian Federal Police need to undertake further inquiries, the package needs to be preserved. From the X-ray image, I'm concerned about basically around the edges, so around the extremities of what's declared as a car part, and all along the edges here. I'm just at the moment looking for a way that I could get into it and possibly locate those thick organic clumps. From the clear X-ray image, Kane will need to look further to find out what's inside. At Perth Airport, sniffer dogs have reacted to this passenger's luggage. Quarantine officer Sue suspects there may be organic matter inside. There's something showed up on X-ray. It looks like a lot of food. We're not quite sure yet, so we're just going to have a look inside. OK, so you've got some food in your bag here. Mm. No, it's, it's dry, completely dry. But it's food. Because um, you eat it, it's food. And it yeah, says here, dried, in, but any food includes dried? Layla has just stepped off a flight from Iran. She this said she wasn't carrying any cooking. food, yes, but yes, Officer yes. Sue is having a hard time convincing her that the spicy nuts in her luggage are actually classified as food. These in particular, these have got walnuts in. We don't let walnuts into Western Australia. They're prohibited. Some nuts are OK and you're allowed to have them, but you must yeah. declare them because you've got some prohibited items here. Mm. I'm going to look through the rest of your bags. Do you have other food in your, in your bags? No, no, no. You don't have any other food? No. Just here. Here. Then, to Sue's surprise, she finds a box full of food. Is this tea yeah, yeah. or spices? Okay. Yes. Dried, uh, 
vegetables. Dried vegetables. So there's, so there's more food in here. And, and dried vegetables too? Absolutely. Okay, just like this. Immigration officers have entered a farm on the outskirts of Sydney. They have been granted permission by the owner to search the property. Based on a tip-off, they think they will find an illegal worker. Right now, they have detained this female who was working in one of the fields, but it is unclear whether she is their target. Um, there's two people on the property. Um, the gentleman uh, appears to be the owner of the property. He's no interest for us. We just need to go back and get his uh, details to, for our records. The lady, um, the worker on the property, uh, seems to have interest to us, so we need to uh, further interview her. Officers gather in one of the sheds to conduct the necessary checks and, through an interpreter, try to confirm the identity of the woman to see if she is their person of interest. It appears that the woman is going to play this the hard way by refusing to cooperate. OK, she's still not responding. Um, can you just try by asking her her name? Thank you. Thank you, Mimi. Thank you, Mimi. Ron, I'm still getting nothing. She doesn't want to respond. But there is a development when a young oh, man yeah. arrives. How are you going, sir? The Department of Immigration. Did you ask permission to come your here no, Your father's given us permission to be on the premises. We came here because we have information uh, um, that this person on the premises right. that doesn't have a visa in Australia. That's our job, OK? Right. OK. Now, this lady down here definitely seems to have a problem right. because we think we've met her before okay. and she's run away from it. We think. We're not 100% sure. The questioning of the lady continues with little progress. The man is the property owner's son and assumes that it is the immigration officers who are here illegally and thinks that the police should be called. You want us to call the police? We can get the police down here if you like now. It doesn't call worry. Call the cops then. I, I don't want to call I the... know my rights. You put one finger on me, I will see your f***ing ass. <laughs>Officer Sue has discovered bags full of walnuts, pistachios and raw almonds, which this passenger failed to declare. A lot of nuts are OK. If they're roasted, most nuts are fine. Um, the fact that you haven't declared any of this food means you've breached quarantine law, so that is quite serious. You've got... It's not one or two things. You've got bagfuls of food and you've said no, you don't have any food at all. As well as the nuts, Sue has discovered something else that hasn't been declared. It's chocolate. It's a chocolate it's forbidden. No, chocolate's not forbidden. Because we eat. Yeah, everything we can eat. All the card, eating. The card was asking you, do you have any food? We're not okay, saying okay, that we're going to take it all. Okay, it's yes, food. but you, you signed your declaration, which is a legal document, yes. and you said you didn't have any okay. food, so you I haven't have... declared your the food. The passenger is becoming increasingly frustrated as she continues to find it difficult to comprehend why she had to declare the food items. Australia is a free country, and we believe it's free, but not I. I'm not sure. It's not free. A large package has arrived at the Sydney International Mail Handling Unit. Now Officer Kane needs to carefully identify the concealment without damaging the package. How I'd proceed from here, as soon as I can't get in there and identify any organic clump, would probably be to make a small drill hole somewhere in the area where I believe the organic mass is, so really right on the edge of this end of the car park. Then we can take a sample of that, take a swab and uh, do some analysis of it. Kane carefully drills a hole, hoping to extract some of the organic material on the drill bit so he can test it. I've just drilled through the plaster. I imagine that's all plaster on the end of the drill. We might take a sample of that, but I'll, um, I'll just poke around and see if I can... I'll use an implement to see if I can poke around and come in contact with the, any organic material that might be in there, then we can analyse that. The substance taken from inside the car part will now be tested by an itemizer to look for any bowl. traces of drugs. It's only looking at minute traces, so it uh, only has to have a slight amount of contact with a narcotic substance. The system also identifies explosive substances. 
and uh, it'll tell us. So I just take the sample, place it in the machine. Now it's given us a drugs detected, so it's come up with the red screen, which is our main alert. It's down here it tells us it's identified ephedrine. Ephedrine is a precursor drug in the production of methamphetamine, including speed, and is a restricted substance. This means Kane needs to look further to confirm exactly what he's dealing with. You want us to call the police? We can get the police down here if you like now. It doesn't call work. Call the cops, I, I don't want to call I the know my rights. You put one finger on me, I will see your f***ing ass. You can do, I haven't touched you. I'm saying, do you want us to call Why the police? Why are you pushing me back then? I haven't touched it. I haven't touched it. back. I haven't touched it. I haven't touched it. I haven't touched it. OK, this lady has an issue. If you, We want to talk to her. Okay, that's all we want to do, we want to talk to her. Now, if we would like to stay here and talk to her and, like, and to identify her. If that's the problem, we'll leave, but she's coming with us. Immigration <laughs> compliance officers need to confirm that the identity of this woman matches that of a known illegal worker who previously absconded from compliance officers. But efforts through an interpreter are all met with silence. It's better for her if she cooperates with us today. Um, we only have a few questions to ask her at the moment, and, and um, it's better for her if she, she um, starts to cooperate with us and answer our questions for us now. Still silence, but things down the other end of the shed are getting much more vocal. No, 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 no. I have my rights. I'm Australian citizen. That's great, yeah. All the coppers. You can call the federal yeah. police, all right? Doesn't matter. It doesn't okay, matter. Okay, okay. You want us to leave the premises? You want us I to leave? I want you outside before okay. you get a warrant. Then. You well, no, I've already, okay. I've already got a warrant now. Yeah. There's a warrant there. There's a warrant. I right, said so no. You enter before you get. I, I saw that's, the that's, warrant. You, you, you weren't even no, here. No. There's the warrant, right, that didn't see the warrant. Oh, if you look at the translation, OK? <coughs> There's a the warrant there, mate. Oh, OK. Oh, oh, warrant. Hey, hey, excuse me, excuse me. We've got a warrant beyond premises. This can, we can do this friendly. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. No, forget, forget, listen, forget about listen, that. Listen, listen, OK, you listen to my side, yeah, okay, OK? If I were going into your front yard without... Okay, you, can, you can come into my front yard. You can knock on. You can knock on the door, and you can say, "Excuse me, sir. I want to. I want to sell you some encyclopedias. You can. I can. You can do whatever you like. I can say, oh, I'm not really so, interested." So, okay, but you enter without asking my dad. Again, okay, anyone can enter any property. No, 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 Okay. In, in, in a sense, if you want to call the police, call your lawyer. Now the argument seems to be turning nasty, with personal attacks against the officers. That's, that's, that's very simple. If you want us to leave, we have a search warrant on the premises, we have, we have the police, we'll wait outside till the police come and then we'll force entry with a search warrant. But we'd rather do it nice and friendly and just have a chat with this lady. <laughs> While the other passengers have cleared the terminal, Layla's family wait patiently outside while quarantine officers decide whether to fine her for her prohibited food. I can't imagine anyone forgetting this much food or not thinking of this much as food, even the chocolate. You know, that's, you don't make things with the chocolate, so obviously it's food. Um, the bag of nuts, it's, it's huge. How can you not think of that as food? You are going to eat them as they are. There was a lot of food. There was food in every bag. So I can't imagine her not knowing that food was in there. You've committed an offence under the quarantine law by failing to declare items that you're carrying into Australia on your incoming passenger card because of the seriousness of what you're carrying and the, the risk that it poses to our industry. So today, we're going to issue you with an on-the-spot fine of $220. The prohibited food will now be confiscated and destroyed. So this is what's happening today. We're seizing these items and these items are clear to go. After paying her $220 fine, she is free to be reunited with her family. <laughs> Meanwhile, at Sydney Quarantine, an Australian artist living in New York has arrived at the border with a suitcase full of suspect items that he hasn't declared. So you're saying you have wood. Is there a reason you didn't say yes to oh, wooden geez. articles? I didn't know that they said any wood. I thought that was about... Uh, sorry. Yeah. I thought it was about what I was carrying on me. When Officer Andrew searches his bags, he finds a large number of paintings and artworks made with wood. 
They're all coated in resin. Yeah, it's more the back that we're interested in because yeah. it's open to the... These works are from New York where I live these days and I'm having a show in Sydney like I do sort of every year. And uh, these works here just are um, paintings that I've been working on lately. As you can see, this is the sort of what I got. Yeah. If there is any sign of borer or disease, the items may have to be treated or destroyed. And with an exhibition in a few days, he could be in real trouble. We'll look for any sort of telltale holes and bang the, the pieces on the table to see if any frass were to fall out, which would indicate some hidden insect activity. Make sure you get any frass out of that. OK, that's fine. Make sure God that, doesn't. Is that all right? That's Actually, fine. Yeah, that's all right. There's no sign of any insect activity. Here we go. A brick. A brick? Got a brick in there. All things I find on the street make in my installations. You mean, I can't believe you've got chicken wire and no chickens. We immediately had a concern that there would be a potential for avian influenza risk with the chicken wire. That's clean. So I need to unwrap that too. Yeah, Of my artwork on TV, yeah. But he's still in trouble for failing to declare the items. OK, so just need to issue the verbal warning yeah. that you must yeah. really think hard about those questions because I can see that you I know, I never... didn't think of your artwork as a wooden article. I but... really didn't. Well, it's a difficult one because he was a non-declarant and he had uh, some risk items that he should have declared. But I felt he genuinely didn't perceive his his art as a wooden article. He could have been fined or even prosecuted for failing to declare his artwork. Uh, I was just told that now. I didn't realise that. That's pretty scary. If that's the problem, we'll leave. But she's coming with us. That's, that's, that's very simple. If you want us to leave, we have a search warrant on the premises, we have, we have the police, we'll wait outside till the police come and then we'll force entry with a search warrant, but we'd rather do it nice and friendly and just have a chat with this lady. Right now the uh, lady that uh, we are interested in still isn't communicating with us, uh, she's refusing to say anything, uh, both through an interpreter and using one of our Chinese speaking staff. Uh, the son of the property owner has turned up and he's decided to start a bit of trouble. He's um, insisted on uh, trying to get us out. Uh, upon executing a search warrant, he's then proceeded to get aggressive. He's called some of our staff names. Yeah, basically we've just called the police to arrange for their assistance with continuing the execution of the search warrant here. The only thing we need to know now is can we talk to this lady in, in peace? And then after we go, we'll explain to you what's happening. We need to talk to this lady, we need to interview her and find out what the situation is. We think she has an issue with the department because she's not answering any questions. We have identification that a, people we're inter a person we're interested in and it matches her, you know, pretty closely. Okay. okay, that's what we want to do, okay? You and your father, not an issue. We're on your premises, we'd like to be here and just interview this lady. We have a search warrant to be here. If you're going to physically force us off, that's fine. But hey, we'll, I'm not we'll, touching you. No, 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 I'm not saying, I'm saying, but that, if you want to do that, that's fine. We'll just wait outside for the police to come, come back and, and enforce entry on here. At the International Mail Handling Unit, an officer has identified a concealment in a car part from Thailand as ephedrine. The ephedrine could have been a false positive result based on um, a reaction to some plastics or some chemicals. So now Officer Kane will continue his investigation. So I'm going to take another sample of the area, maybe more on the external part of the part and uh, see if we can bring up any other substance on the itemizer see if it will um, give us any other indication, because I'm not satisfied that there is an ephedrine concealment. So we'll inv investigate further. OK, it's giving me a positive result for cocaine. To me, that makes a lot more sense. Very good concealment. I'd be much more inclined to say that's more likely to be cocaine concealed in that out of Thailand. With Kane's suspicions about the concealment proved correct, all that remains is to carefully repack the car part and pass it on to the AFP for further investigation. It makes it a good day when we 
uh, keep these away from the public. Uh, so we're, we're happy with that result. At a property in Sydney's west, the police have been called to assist immigration officers as emotions are running high. Officers are trying to determine the identity of a woman found on the farm, possibly working illegally. The owner and his son have not made immigration's job any easier by not cooperating. Where's this lady um, sleep? Okay, thanks, interpreter. She's still not. Recording. Where's this lady sleep? Pun? She's not answering any questions. Well, I can't answer any questions without yeah. my lawyer. Yeah, okay. talk to the lawyer. It's four hours into the operation, and the woman still refuses to answer any questions. But officers are convinced they have the right woman. The police have arrived, and the decision is made to take her away for a formal interview. This doesn't go over well with the son. Treat my father like a second class citizen, or smack the out of you. Who start this country? All the wogs and Asians. You Australian dog, you are. Immigration officers have done all they can at the property. The woman's belongings are collected, and she will now be transported to the Villawood detention facility. She's, she's detained and we've got to go now. Yeah. We don't want to force her in the van, but we need to Officers go have one last warning for the father and son. We've got to give this illegal working warning notice to your father. Okay. There's a possibility that there could be a fine in the future if you continue this practice, OK, of employing legal workers. Okay. So I'm going to give it to your father. After a formal interview at Villawood Detention Centre, the woman was confirmed as an unlawful non-citizen who had been illegally in Australia for 13 months. She has since been returned to China.